Hello everyone, Tina here. I have a super fun surprise to share with you for today. Today, well welcome to my channel first of all. Today I am super excited to share something that's brand new over at the Spellbinder shop. I think this is going to be super fun and I think you're going to fall in love with it. This box here is called Sealed and what it is is a wax sealing kit. This is a starter kit that has um, everything you need except for the tea light um, to create some beautiful wax seals. Now this is what your box looks like. If you guys are, if you're a card baker who loves card making, um, this is perfect for you. But you know what? I have teenage daughters and when I saw this kit, they, I had to pry it from their hands because they wanted to try doing this so much. So this is great for all different ages. Um, and it's a way to step up your um, card making to make it more elegant. If you'd like to create invitations, I think this would be fabulous for that. Um, it's just a super fun item. Um, other than stamping and embossing uh, for your card making. And I think you're gonna fall in love with it. Okay, this is how it comes. It actually comes in with this and then it comes in the plastic bag. I already removed it. But on the back, it tells you a little bit about what's in the box. And then on the, don't throw it up because on the inside are some tips on how to use it. And then there's some instructions too in here. I went over all of this before I started my video so I can kind of um, act like I know what I'm doing, <laughs> but we're going to do this together for the first time. Now, not only is there a starter kit, Spellbinder sells extra stamps. There is a beautiful stamp included in here, but Spellbinder um, sells extra stamps and then they sell, you get gold wax beads in here, but Spellbinder sells a variety of colors. and. Um, I have here pearl white and peachy pink and um, of course gold's in here. Now also what is great, this is a brand new collection and Spellbinders has some new dyes and um, new dyes, there's new stencils and new glimmer plates that are just awesome that are part of the sealed collection. And I'll link the entire collection down below. But there is some beautiful dyes. Now all of these dyes are meant to go with the seals. You see how long the stems are? That way you could seal um, your, let me show you. That way you could seal your, your beautiful die cut images with a wax seal. It's kind of hard to see here. So that's why I will make two cards today and I'm gonna go over the machine. Um, I, the dies that I have are the sealed blooms this is really pretty. I'm not going to use this one, but I am going to use the sealed leaf sprigs. And this is great just for card making, not necessarily for the wax seal. And then this one here I thought was gorgeous. This one is the sealed squiggles. <laughs> so we're going to be using these on our cards today. Now I'm going to set these aside and we'll talk more about those in a minute. But I do want to say that this box is a beautiful box. It's almost like a jewelry box. <laughs> So it's a great gift also. There is a ribbon pool. It's a drawer pool. And all you would do is pull this out like so. Inside it has like a black velvet. I mean, I'm going to pull it as far as it can go. I don't want to pull it all, all the way out. Okay. Inside you can already see that there's black velvet. But let's talk about our mat. This is a silicone mat that you can create your seals on here and then lift them up and then glue them down. I think you have a lot more control when you have a mat to do that. And so we're gonna be using this. Now, of course you could just do this directly on your card stock, but if you make a mistake, then it's permanent. You have to redo the whole card. <laughs> so this wax seal, um, uh, this is a silicone mat. It, it just makes it easier for creating seals on their own. And you could do this um, in bulk too, which is nice. So if you want to create seals with all of these at one time, let them dry and put them in a little baggie, then they're all ready to go, which makes it nice. That is your silicone mat. Now, isn't that gorgeous? I'm going to zoom in a little bit now, but this is what I'm going to put these off to the side. I'm going to go over the our wax stamps a little bit more in a minute. 
I want to first talk about our starter kit. Isn't that gorgeous? It's a beautiful starter kit. Now in this little case, which is so nice, I'm going to gently pull this out carefully. Oops. In this little case, this is your gold. There's lots in here. Oh my gosh, it's overflowing. These are your gold wax beads. And they're um, got a little marbly look to them, which is fabulous. You get, I would say, just as much in the bag as you would in the starter kit. And so these are gold. And again, you can buy different colors separately. Again, this is peachy pink, and then this is pearl white. And then you get your little wax melting spoon. And it's on the heavy side. It has a nice wooden handle. And then you have your very first stamp. This one has the embellishment that says um, a leaf. And then it has a for you on it. So this is really pretty. The nice thing is if you want to remove your stamp from the handle for storage, you can do that also. If you have a flat drawer and want to stick this in there. Or if you want to keep this on there and store right side up like you would your your blending tools you could do that too now all of the extra stamps come with a handle too so you just don't purchase the handle you purchase the entire these are called stamps so because of the image on there so you get um, a variety of extra stamps too at the spellbinder shop which makes it really nice but this one says for you and it's nice and versatile for a starter kit and then you have a beautiful wood and metal, this is metal here. I'm not sure what kind of metal, but this is a beautiful stained wood. Um, I'm not even sure what this is called. Let's grab the instructions. That is called a warmer. This is a warmer spoon and this is your warmer. So good to know. <laughs> so I'm not gonna use the gold beads today. I'm gonna use white the pearl white for our projects. But that is your starter kit. Okay, I'm gonna put this off to the side. It's nice and heavy too. This is a nice, nice cardboard box. I'm gonna go ahead and take my, my mat out of here. I called it a silicone mat, but, and it is a silicone mat. I thought I better double check that. <laughs> I'm gonna take out our silicone mat here. And this helps protect your work surface also. Now, I mentioned that you need a tea light to do the wax melting. Tea lights are so inexpensive. My husband um, had went to the dollar store and he had got a pack of 20. I think he got them on clearance for 50 cents. These are so nice. These are what you would put um, for our um, wax scent candles. But these are in a little metal tin. I wouldn't, um, they may have thicker ones, but you'd probably want to get the more shallow one. Okay, and then this will fit perfectly in here, just like so. Okay, now since this does get a little bit warm, I'm going to go ahead and leave this on my silicone mat just to help protect it. And we're going to go ahead and light up our tea light. like so. You can use matches if you want. I just used one of my my fireplace lighters. <laughs> and now I'm going to set this off to the here. After my wick gets to the wax, um, I'm going to wait until my wick hits the wax and it melts a little bit. And in the meantime, we're going to take a look at our wax beads here. I mentioned that we're, gonna do, we're just going to use the pearl white today. And it's nice because these come in a Ziploc baggie. So when you open it, you want to be careful opening it so you don't put a hole in it. If you wanted to even put your, um, the top of your packaging on the inside, you can do that. 
just nice for storage. The perfect wax seal will take four of these little beads. So I'm going to take four of the white ones. Now my tea light is, it's kind of hard to, to tell. I don't even, the camera's not even picking up the, the candlelight. Uh, but um, my tea light, the wax is starting to melt. So I'm going to take my melting pot here and put it over the top, my warmer. And then I'm going to go ahead and place my spoon right over the top, like so. And then I'm going to add my beads. I'm going to add four, but of course you can play around with your preference. Okay, and I have an extra one just, just to be on the safe side. Okay, now we are going to go over, well this is melting. We'll, we'll estimate on how long this is going to take to melt. We're going to take to melt. We're going to go over our stamps, our wax seal stamps. I have five of them to share with you. I'm going to scoot this over a little bit. And there is lots more of stamps, okay, as part of this collection. I have the Forever Rose I thought was really pretty. You can see the rose pattern here. That's one of the seals. This There's Christmas ones that I thought would make fabulous Christmas cards or Christmas closures. This is called Joy Swag. Sounds like a girl's name. <laughs> but this is Joy. It has a beautiful swag and then joy and down the middle. We're not going to use that one today. Um, I am partial to the mandala. The mandala has a beautiful design and I think it's universal. And we're going to be using this on a project today. And then I also have the thanks mandala. And this one is the same exact design. The difference is they covered the middle with thanks. So you have a sentiment to go with it. Okay, and then I'm trying to figure out which one I want to use today. I think we're going to, maybe we'll use, the, we're going to use the rose. Hmm. We're going to use the rose today. We're going to use an unsentiment, um, an, uh, a seal that doesn't have a sentiment on it. This one. So today we're going to use Forever Rose and Mandala. Um, so this one is the thank, Mandala thanks. And then we have, I have one more that says Merry Christmas. I thought this would be really pretty to seal a Christmas card. Or even to put on a, oops, let it focus. But even to put on a Christmas tag would be really nice. Okay, so these are the ones that we're going to use. Let's go ahead and take these out of the box. Boy, I can smell it melting. You can see it's melted already. You can kind of smell smell the wax melting. So let's go ahead and take out. This is what the mandala looks like. Pretty. And again, this one comes undone too. So if you want to take one handle and put your just your stamps in a pouch and take them for travel. Well, I don't know if you want to take this for travel, but um, you have that option. And I think this is getting pretty warm because I can kind of smell it. I'm going to set this over off to the side and let it cool down a little bit. That's the nice thing about this not being electric is you can, um, you can remove it from the heat, which is really nice. Okay. So, and this is what the beautiful rose, the, um, the Forever Rose looks like. How pretty is that? So I have my stamps out. And they recommend you stir this a little bit. So I'm going to take my craft pick. I have a metal craft pick here. And I'm just going to do a little bit of stirring. And then I'm going to take a cloth and I'm going to wipe this off. I'm actually going to use a tissue to wipe this off. And it wipes off clean, which is nice. Okay, if you want to use a paper towel, you could do that too. Now is the fun part. 
I'm just going to um, pour this into a circle. Like so. I think if you get wax around here, it builds character of your um, your melting pot. I think it's just, I think it would be old fashioned. I'm gonna put four more in here. And then while that's melting, I'm gonna take my stamp. This is the mandala. And what you do is you just center it and press it down like so. And you just let it sit there. How, how easy is that? There is, now this next one is going to be a little bit bigger because there's wax a little bit in the bottom. Maybe I should have just put three in here for the next one. We'll see how it goes. Now you do, don't. I'm not going to touch this until I know it's dry. I'm going to give it a few minutes. And in the meantime, we are going to go over a stamp set that's part of this release. The stamp set I'm going to be using, that's why I chose some that didn't have any uh, messages on it. Um... I, I, I'm gonna put I'm gonna stamp my message and this is the sealed sentiments. They actually have a sealed sentiments, it's the same thing, but it's a glimmer plate, which is really nice. But there's a lot of beautiful sentiments in here and I like the scripty. You know me. I like the scripty and the, the block letter font. And so we're gonna use this on our cards today. Now this is I'm gonna zoom in. A little more here. Scoot this over so it's an eyes view. This is, oops, if we can get it to focus. Now this is already, there's a little chunk in there. Let me see if you can see. There's a little chunk in there. So this is not ready yet. But I think this may be ready. So I'm just going to lift this off. My camera's not focusing, but I lifted this off. It's very easy. There's no wax in here whatsoever. Really nice. And look at, look at, I'm super excited. You just can lift up your silicone mat and then kind of push it away. The back is completely flat, but this is your wax seal. Isn't that gorgeous? Spellbinders has something else that will make this extra really pretty too. And I'm going to show you that in a minute. Okay. This is, I can smell it. So this is, this tells me it's done. I'm just going to use my, you could use a, a skewer or a toothpick to clean off, um, to stir it. But I'm going to take my wax now and pour another circle here. You want to wipe off the sides so it's not going on your candle. You can. This one didn't stay exactly circle. We'll see how this goes. And I'm just going to drop my uh, forever rose on here. This is a little bit wider. We'll see how this goes. Now in the meantime, let's just keep playing. <laughs> Now, if you wanted to mix colors, you can. That's the nice thing about wax, you can. Cleanup is very easy. While this is warm, I'm only gonna put three in here now because it, to me it's a little bit big. But while this is warm, just take your tissue or your paper towel and wipe it out. Very easy to do. I'm gonna do one with, with the For You. But I just think that is so pretty. That's just gorgeous. Now, I'm gonna go ahead, while this is melting and this is drying, I'm gonna show you one more thing that's new from Spellbinders. Spellbinders has some pens. These are from Marvy, and these are, I'm gonna shake it up, but you can hear the, the, you, the ball bearing in there. You wanna make sure that this shakes up really good. What this is, is a flat tipped pen. And Spellbinders has different colors of these. I happen to have silver. This is what the tip looks like. You can see that it's almost like a calligraphy pen. It's a flat tip here. And if you turn it this, it goes to a point. Okay. I'm gonna shake it up real good and I'm gonna get 
the ink to come to the end. I'm going to show you what this is going to do. And once the ink is all the way on the, the tip of your, your pen, what you can do is, it's so neat, is you can lightly go over, this is kind of maybe the wrong one to do this with. We'll do this maybe with the rose. Hold on. I think this cooled down enough to where I can pour this. Okay, we'll put that back on the burner. I'm going to take my For You and I'm going to place this right over the top and let's see if this and then let's melt some more <laughs> I'm on a roll let's, this is kind of addicting actually should we do some pink let's do some pink we're gonna well I'm calling him pink but this is a peachy pink let's add some, I'm gonna mix okay I'm gonna mix we'll put four of the the peachy pink in with the leftover from the white. We're going to see what this does. Let's go ahead and remove this one. This one actually stuck this time. And look how pretty this is. The white, it's hard to tell, but that is where your pen comes in. You take your pen, you can lightly go over your image. Oh goodness, this is so pretty. Oh my goodness. This is just stunning. Oh my goodness. You just take your pen and lightly, they have gold one, a gold pen too, different colors. This really makes it stand out. Let me show you. Look how pretty that is. That is just so pretty. That is gorgeous. I'm going to get closer so maybe the camera can zoom. There you go. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. That's using the pen. And it's kind of an off shape, but that's what makes it unique. Let me go over the, see if I can go over the Mandela. Oh, this is stunning. The pen has a little bit of an odor to it. A chemical odor like a spray paint can but it's not that bad look how pretty this one is look how gorgeous that is isn't that beautiful <laughs> we made that I just I love things like this I'm gonna stir this just a little bit careful remember the white was in the bottom and it's starting to smoke on me, so I'm going to go ahead and set this here and let it cool down a little bit. In the meantime, I'm going to remove this one and see how that one just pops off. And then you would lift up the bottom. There is for you. This one doesn't have as much hanging over. is the other one. I'm going to go ahead and use my pen on this one too to show you how pretty this is. This is gorgeous. This is so fun. I could do this for a long time. <laughs> okay, look at this. This is the for you. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love that. Now we have our peachy pink that we mixed with the leftovers from our pearl. I'm going to pour this is a beautiful color. This really is a beautiful color. I'm going to wipe the side here. I'll put that back. And then for this one, I really think, let's see, the for you is actually really pretty. Let's, let's go with the rose on this one. I'm just going to hold it in the center as best as I can and kind of let it drop. The weight of your stamp does all the work. So don't press. 
I suggest just dropping it. I'm going to do um, another pink. P2 pink. Actually, let's do gold. <laughs> We're on a roll. Let's grab the gold. I'm going to grab four golds and mix it in with the leftovers from my P2 pink. Let's see what this does. We'll let that melt. Now, while this is melting and we're playing, let's do some die cutting for our card project. For my first card, I have three, let me zoom back out here. Okay, we're gonna do some die cutting. I have Wildberry, I have Dahlia, and then I have Silver Fox. We're gonna die cut out our leaves here. This is the sealed leaf sprigs. And I'm gonna take the largest leaf sprig and cut that out with my dahlia. I'm gonna take, no, I'm gonna take the largest sprig, cut that out with my wild berry. The shorter one, we'll cut that out. Yeah, that's not gonna fit. We'll cut that out with dahlia. And then this one we'll cut out with our silver fox. Now I went ahead and did my die cutting. You can see how thin and beautiful these are. I love that. And then I cut out two circles. Okay, one with silver fox and one with dahlia. I think that's gonna be a great home for my seals. Now this looks, oh, look at this one. I'm gonna set this aside. Look at this one. How pretty. Let me grab my, my paper here. That is gorgeous. It's so pretty. I'm going to use my pen and go over this. And here is this one. Almost looks like jewelry. How pretty is that? You can make a brooch out of it. Okay, this we're going this is our last one. I am going to stir it a little bit. Remember this one had the gold and then the leftover um, peachy pink. Let's go ahead and pour this. I'm going to wipe off the side here. And we'll do a mandala on this one. And we'll just let it drop. Okay, that's all the wax we're going to do. Now I'm going to go ahead and lift off my warmer. It's a little bit warm. I'm going to blow out that candle. Um, but it is a little bit warm. The bottom actually is not warm at all. It's the top where the middle is. There is a little bit of discoloring, but I think that's natural when the heat hits it. And now I'm going to take this, set this off to the side, let it cool before I put it back in the box. Now before this cools, I'm going to go ahead and take my paper towel and just wipe it out. Um, hold on to the handle. You can see it wipes out really easy, especially while it's warm. Hold on to the handle because this is very warm. I mean, it's not, I don't think it'll, it's pretty warm guys. Um, so make sure you just keep an eye on the Keep your hand on the handle, but it cleaned out really good. You can see how shiny that is. And the bottom is not colored at all. For, the, for that flame hitting it, the bottom didn't discolor whatsoever. Okay, so we'll let those cool. And along with our tea light, now this one is something you want to be real careful with. And then we're going to make a card. Um, while this one's setting, I think we have enough seals to work with. While this is setting, I'm going to take my, this one is the sealed squiggles. I love, I love the leaf in here. We're only going to use the leaf and I'm going to die cut this out with some, um, colored cardstock. I have the new indigo. I'm going to die cut this out with, I have the new dune. I'm going to cut it out with Dune also. And then this is Spellbinder's Brushed Silver cardstock. And it has a really pretty, um, almost not shiny, 
like the mirror cardstock, but it has a real pretty sheen to it. I'm going to die cut this out also with a couple of circles that are different layers. So I'm going to run this through my die cut machine. So I have my, my squiggles die cut. This is actually a leaf, not really a squiggle, but it's so pretty. I thought that would be pretty in those three colors. Okay, and I'm going to set off my my wax seals and they're very light and um, you would think these would snap um, but I, I think they have a little bit of flexibility to them which is nice so it's it's not like they will um, snap in half like regular wax so that's really nice okay so I'm gonna put away these seals and this one's not set just yet, so we have a little bit of time. I'm going to do some embossing. So I have some panels here. These measure, I have two of them. These measure one, um, three and a, a quarter inch wide by four and a half inches tall. What we're going to do is take this and I'm going to trim um, one inch off of here. I'm just going to take this and trim one, one inch off. Okay. We're separating. We're going to keep both pieces. The bottom piece I'm going to stamp my sentiment on, but the top piece I'm going to emboss. I'm going to emboss with two of Spellbinder's 3D embossing folders. And I have leafy and beautiful blooms. I'm just going to put these panel these panels inside here and I'm going to run these through. So I went ahead and embossed these panels and then I have the bottom pieces that we're going to stamp our sentiment on. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's see if this is ready. Oh, see when it pops right off, there's no wax residue on your stamp, which is nice. And these are nice heavy weight. These just feel like quality. Um, I'm going to go ahead and lift up my gold seal. And I think that is gorgeous. You see how pretty that is? We're not going to use the gold today. I think we're going to go more with the, the white. So we'll put that off to the side. So that's our sealed system, our starter kit. Super fun, isn't it? <laughs> something something so unique. And let me tell you, this will still fit in an envelope. Um, this is no thicker than my... Um, foam adhesive <laughs> and you guys know I love my foam adhesive let me show you this is my foam squares this is the wax seal let me show you the the width you can see it's about the same width as my foam um, my my foam squares so there's not very much dimension to this which makes it really nice for mailing okay I want to put away my silicone mat here Actually, let's put everything away. Let's put everything away back in the box. Our beautiful gift box. This is so nice. I don't think I'm going to let my kids play with this because I feel like it's just, it's my special toy. <laughs> I'm going to put this back and it cools down really fast. And then I'm going to take my For You. We'll put the seal back in here. And I'll put my wax beads back in here. And it just slides like a drawer like a dream. How nice is that? On the back side it's just the beautiful packaging. So that's our sealed system from Spellbinders. Oh you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put in my silicone mat. I'm gonna do that too. This is just gonna go right over the top. Like so. Nice gift. A nice gift. This will be linked down below. Now, let's make some cards. I thought we would do something a little bit different and I'm going to close my blinds because the sun is coming in and it's messing with my camera lighting. So hold on. Okay, I think that's better. Artificial light it is. <laughs> now, I'm going to put away my, you know, you could probably put your pen in here too. If you invest in your pen, you'd probably want to put that in there too. I think it'll fit. And again, they have the gold. I think they have a rose gold. Um, and then the silver and 
I'll link those down below too. Okay, let's make some cards. I have two different color themes. Um, one I guess could be masculine for every day, and then the other one is of course feminine because it's pink. But we need to create card bases. Now I have two pieces of cardstock, and I thought these are um, 11 inches long. Basically, what I did was taken a letter size piece of cardstock, cut it down at um, four and a quarter, and created long panels. Okay, I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to take my scoring board. We're going to make a unique style card. I think it's going to be really pretty with these wax seals. Okay, we're going to take our cardstock. I'm going to score it at four inches. And then I'm going to fold it and reinforce that score line. And then at the fold, I'm going to put this back in my scoring board. And then I'm going to score at five and a half. Like so. I'm going to fold this over. Reinforce that score line. And we have a very unique looking um, card opening. So our card's going to open like this basically. Okay, now I want to be able to keep this closed. So to do that, that's where the circles are going to come in handy. First, I have my embossed backgrounds. Remember we chopped off one inch from the bottom. Um, I'm going to use the beautiful this embossing folder is called Beautiful Blooms, and it is just stunning. I think it's going to go really well with our sprigs. So the leaf is going to go good with our leaves. We're going to put this off to the side and focus on this card first. I'm going to take this, leaving it white. I'm going to flip it around, and I'm going to add some adhesive to the back side. We're going to tack this down in the middle of our card base and it should be even all the way around like so. Okay. And then with this one, I'm going to stamp my sentiment. We're going to use our stamp scent that I showed you earlier. Like so, and it stamps beautifully. And then I'll take this, add some adhesive behind it. We're going to tack we're going to close our card, tack this down, continuing that white. Once our sentiment is adhered, this is where our circles will come in. I'm going to go ahead and take my pink Dahlia circle, add this to my silver fox. Just making sure it's centered. And for this, I'm going to bring in my glue because I think I need something really strong. And I'm going to add a little bit of glue behind the bottom portion of this circle. And this one is going to go tacked right here, off to the left. I'm going to hold this down, like so. And then I'm going to add a little, we're going to create a little pocket, just a little one. I want to add some glue to the very bottom. I think I created a card like this before. I'm going to hold this down. And then we can... Close it up like so. This way it stays closed, and when you open it, you just flip it open. Like so. Love the way this looks. Now we can add our sprigs, and I'm going to just leave them loose, make sure they're right side up, so they're all basically crisscrossing in the center, and then we get to pick one of our wax seals. I'm going to seal it. And I'm going to add a generous amount of glue behind here, like so. And then I'm going to, oops, I'm going to pick it up. If you wanted to use your tweezers, you could. I'm going to go ahead and lay this right in the center, overlapping those stems. And I'm going to use an acrylic block to hold that down. And while that's setting, I'm going to work on my next card, which I had already created my card base the same exact way with my indigo. This time we're going to use our leafy background. 
and then I will place this in the center of that circle and just hold it down. And I'm going to use an acrylic block for this one. And then these you can just put, if you want to put these in a case, you can. You get lots of extra. I think it's so fun. But look how pretty this is. You're a great friend. And then to open your card, you would just open it like so. If you want to put some cardstock in here to continue it, you can. Those seals are just gorgeous. And I have a little overhanging, so I'll just use my scissors and trim that off. So those, look at how pretty this one is. And I have a little overhanging, so I'm going to trim this off as well. So simple, but so gorgeous. Isn't that stunning? I just love these. <laughs> okay, if you want to add some, um, some gems to this, you can, but I love how clean and how elegant these looks. I'm not going to do any of that. I'm just going to leave them like it is. But this is the brand new Spellbinder sealed, sealed system. If you want to check it out, I'll leave the links down below. Have a wonderful day. I thank you so much for joining me, and um, we will see you soon. Bye-bye.